Hello. So did you ever wonder what's in a propane tank? Just a little old propane tank. There, can you see me now? I can't tell for sure. There you are. Did you ever wonder what's in a propane tank or did you just say, well, somebody figured it out. What happens when you cut it apart? Well, I first filled it with water, just in case I dumped all the, the rest of the propane out, filled it with water, and then I just ground the top off like this. Okay, now this is one of the old propane tanks that didn't have that special valve in it. That's why I'm cutting it apart because I can't use it anyway for propane anymore. They don't let us do that. So there's the inside. They got a little place where it vents out when you open the valve up here. But it also takes propane from the top so that you don't get liquid. But if you turn it on the side, you have to find which side it is. It'll take it from the bottom and make liquid come out. So what I'm doing with this is I'm going to make a little smelter furnace. I was going to do it out of a water tank, but it was so flimsy I couldn't even use it. This is a little heavier, quite a bit heavier for propane. Doesn't It holds quite a bit more pressure than the water tank did. It doesn't have to be very big because I'm going to fire it with used motor oil. How about that? That should melt the old steel pretty good, copper and other things, but Boy, somebody didn't do a great job of welding that. Kind of looks weird, doesn't it? I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, this was one of those old things. I pulled the top of the valve out. I couldn't get the valve because it was stuck so tight. Not a great way of getting a wrench on it. So just filled it through the little bleeder hole and as full as I could. And then I cut from the bottom so it was letting water out before I cut into it. Anyway, the last one I cut open, I just blew it up there. It still had a little of the juice left in there and it went kabooey. It didn't blow up, but it sure scared me. <laughs> I did not do that. Anyway, be careful if you're cutting these open. Fill them with water.